The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of Leviticus. Yahweh spoke to Moses on Mount Sinai and said, You will count seven weeks of years, seven times seven years. That is to say, a period of seven weeks of years, 49 years. And on the tenth day of the seventh month, you will sound the trumpet. On the day of expiation, you will sound the trumpet throughout the land. You will declare this 50th year to be sacred and proclaim the liberation of all the country's inhabitants. You will keep this as a jubilee. Each of you will return to his ancestral property, each to his own clan. This 50th year will be a jubilee year for you. In it you will not sow, you will not harvest the grain that has come up on its own, or in it gather grapes from your untrimmed vine. The jubilee will be a holy thing for you. During it, you will eat whatever the fields produce. In this year of Jubilee, each of you will return to his ancestral property. If you buy land from or sell land to your fellow countrymen, neither of you may exploit the other. In buying from your fellow countrymen, you will take account of the number of years since the Jubilee. The sale price he fixes for you will depend on the number of productive years still to run. The greater the number of years, the higher the price you will ask for it. The fewer the number of years, the greater the reduction. For what he is selling you is a certain number of harvest. So you will not exploit one another, but fear your God, for I am Yahweh your God. And our response is from Psalm 67. Then the earth will acknowledge your ways and all nations your power to save. Let the nations praise you, God. Let all the nations praise you. Let the nations praise you, God. Let all the nations praise you. May God continue to bless us and be revered by the whole wide world. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. At that time, Herod the Tetrarch heard about the reputation of Jesus and said to his court, This is John the Baptist himself. He has risen from the dead. And that is why miraculous powers are at work in him. Now it was Herod who had arrested John, chained him up, and put him in prison because of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife. For John had told him, it is against the law for you to have her. He had wanted to kill him, but was afraid of the people who regarded John as a prophet. Then, during the celebrations for Herod's birthday, the daughter of Herodias danced before the company, and so delighted Herod that he promised an oath to give her anything she asked. Prompted by her mother, she said, give me John the Baptist's head here on a dish. The king was distressed, but thinking of the oaths he had sworn and of his guest, he ordered it to be given her and sent and had John beheaded in the prison. The head was brought in on a dish and given to the girl who took it to her mother. John's disciples came and took the body and buried it. Then they went off to tell Jesus the gospel of the Lord.